Hey guys, Do It On A Dime family here. This is my second pregnancy vlog and update. So I wanted to update you guys on how weeks 15 and 16 have been, um, as well as share with you guys some of our gender reveal plans, a few little gifts that I have received from friends to congratulate me on the pregnancy, as well as share with you some baby names that we're considering. So that's on the agenda. It's like a business meeting. <laughs> Let's jump right in. Weeks 15 and 16 have been awesome. I feel like my pre-pregnancy self. I am energetic and there's moments during the day where I actually forget that I am pregnant just because I feel so normal. Um, a couple of little things though, you can tell now that I'm pregnant and people at work have started to say things like, oh, look at your tiny belly. So they can start to see the change in my figure. Okay guys, so here is a really quick outfit of the day, which honestly a lot of what I'm wearing is from Target. Um, the earrings that I'm wearing are from Target. I got these in the spring. The watch that I'm wearing is also from Target. I got this this winter. And the shirt that I'm wearing um, is from Target as well. This is not maternity. It's just kind of a really light cover up and that ties in the front. And underneath, I'm wearing a tank top from H&M. And then these pants that I'm wearing are actually from the grocery store, believe it or not. Here is Teeter. They were near the checkout line and they're so comfortable and really great for this early stage of pregnancy. So there's the baby bump. And I have felt a little bit of pulling and stretching in my lower abdomen. Like I can feel it changing and expanding and growing. And it's not painful. You can just tell it's making room for baby, which is exactly what happens at the beginning of 16 weeks because the baby has a huge growth spurt. And there was once, I think it was like 16 weeks on the nose, where I was laying down and I thought that I could feel kicking. Like it almost felt like some little tiny popcorn kernels were like popping inside of me. And after that it went away and I didn't feel it again. So I don't know if it was just gas or the way I was sitting or it wasn't what I thought it was, but it was really cool nonetheless to like start to actually feel what's going on inside of you because up until this point, nada. It was awesome to hear the baby's heartbeat on the Doppler. It was 145 beats per minute, which my doctor said does not indicate boy or girl either way. That was like smack dab in the middle. So we shall see. In terms of the gender reveal, my friend Erica, her mom is actually makes cakes and she also knows how to make cakes like the whole shebang like with the fondant really pretty really nice and she is hosting a gender reveal party for us so we have our i think it's will be like 19 weeks ultrasound on january 11th and we'll go in and hopefully fingers crossed they can tell the sex of the baby and the ultrasound technician is going to write it on a piece of paper put it in a sealed envelope and I'm gonna take that envelope and give it to my friend and I won't get to know what the gender of the baby is until I'm at the party and I cut the cake open and we see is it blue or is it pink. And we're gonna invite a bunch of our friends from down south to the party and actually my in-laws um, are coming down from Michigan for it so that's gonna be fantastic to have them. My mom can't make it because she's working um, but yeah, I'm so excited. It's going to be a hard, long wait, waiting over a week, like knowing that I could know the answer, but I'm choosing not to. is going to be hard, I think, especially for me, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm kind of leaning more toward girl for some reason, I guess. Like, I was swinging back to boy, and now I'm swinging back to girl, so... I don't know, we'll just have to see. Some of my friends for Christmas and just to congratulate us on becoming pregnant have given me a few small things, so I'm gonna share them with you guys. My friend Kathleen gave me these pacifiers. They're um, BPA free and they're called Soothies, um, which is totally different than the pacifiers like I grew up with as a kid. So, um, but I've seen a bunch of kids using these and um, I know a bunch of moms have said their babies love these, so that was cool. She also gave me some Desitin, which you can never have enough of, as well as some Johnson's Baby Head to Toe Wash. And she also gave me her favorite diapers, which are Pampers Swaddlers for newborns. So I thought this was a really nice gift. Um, and this is actually the first pack of diapers we've got. 
And my friend Lauren gave me this. Isn't it sweet? It's like this, we used to call them whoobies when we were a kid because you whoob it. I don't know what you call it. Blanky, whatever you want to call it. But it's really soft and it's kind of got like this silky lining. So cute. So I thought this was really sweet. And this was just to say congratulations for um, the pregnancy. And my friend Jen gave me this. It's a little um, University of Michigan Wolverines pacifier. Um, my husband loves MSU, Michigan State, and I love U of M, so our baby, you know, is going to be sucking on that. Um, and my friend Jen also gave me this. It's called The Perfect Name. It's just a book of a bunch of baby names and their origins, and it has a cool thing in the beginning where it actually tells you like some strategies and ways to pick a name for new parents. So I thought that was really cool. I haven't read the whole book clearly um, or even looked at all the names, but I am really excited to take a closer look at this. And which kind of leads me to the last part of this video. In terms of baby names, um, I figured I'm just going to share them with you guys. Um, we do have our favorites of the list that we like, which I'm not going to share that part, just like our list that we have. And our list is very traditional. My husband really likes traditional names. Um, I like traditional names. And I don't have anything against unique names. Um, just for our child, we'll probably pick something fairly traditional. So don't be expecting anything over the top unique, I guess. But I'll share with you guys the boys' names first. And I'll share with you the first name and the middle name and um, kind of why we picked it. But like I said, I'm not going to say which one is our favorite. Um, so the first one is Isaac Leroy. Um, I just really like the name Isaac, and Leroy is a family name on my husband's side. And Jacob Michael. I've always liked the name Jacob, and of course the baby would go by Jake if we chose that. And Michael is my dad's name, so Jacob Michael. Thomas Leroy. Um, I just think Thomas is such a classic good name, and Leroy again, the family name. And Andrew Charles. And again, if we chose Andrew, we would call him Andy, and Charles is, you know, my husband's name. So, Andrew, Thomas, Jacob, and Isaac. And then for girls' names, we have three that we like. The first one is Jacqueline Mary, and we would call her Jackie for short, and my mom's name is Mary, so that's where that comes from. And Clara Lynn, um, Lynn is my mother-in-law's middle name and Clara was just a name that we liked. And Sophia Elizabeth. Elizabeth is my sister-in-law's middle name and Sophia was a name that we both really liked. So those are the three girls' names thus far. And you'll just have to stay tuned for which one we pick. I'm pretty sure once we find out the gender of the baby, we're gonna solidify a name, because you know me. I'm way too anal to not know the name of the baby. Like I want a monogram stuff and you know, monogram different things in the room, so we will have to pick. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all the update that I have for you guys.